Today I'm so excited to show you how to make fake crinkle cut fries and fake ketchup. So for the fries we're going to use our foam clay and I'm just going to condition my clay. And I'm going to add some color to this because I want to give it a little bit of a base color. So I'm just going to put some apple barrel yellow and then a little bit of antique white. And then just mix that into your clay really well. Okay, so now I'm going to shape this into like a potato shape. So I got a set of clay blades and it has the regular clay blades, but then it also comes with these wavy ones. So there's three different sizes here and I'll have a link to this in the description in case you want to get this set. So I think I'm going to use this one, which is the middle size one, because this one seems too small and this one seems too big. So what I'm going to do is just cut off a slice that would be like the size of a french fry. So now this is going to be too big, so I'm just going to cut the other side off of it. So this could be one fry and you can kind of shape them, you know, if you want to curve them a little bit or just leave them how they are, whatever you like. If there's any like frazzled edges, just press those in. Now you can see for this one, it's too big. So what I'm going to do is slice it this way, but I'm going to use my regular clay blade because these don't, these are only crinkled on the two sides and then the other sides are the flat. I'm just going to slice it in half so that it makes a perfect french fry. So because these are going to be small, I mean these are going to be too big, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cut this rest of this potato in half and that'll make it easier to use my wavy clay blade. And the ends don't shouldn't be pointed. They're not really pointed on the real thing. So just kind of press those in a little bit to get a better shape. I also wanted to mention, so when you have your blade here cut, you just want to pull away the excess clay. If you try to pick your blade up, without pulling that away, it's all gonna stick right back together. So just make sure you pull the excess clay away to avoid some frustration. So now we need to shade these. I'm gonna use my usual shading color. So territorial beige, and this is gonna be equal parts of each one. So I'm just gonna use like a drop of each color and then yellow and harvest orange. And then just mix those all together and then get a lot of the paint out of your brush so we can just lightly dry brush this on. So you'll want to get over the crinkles that'll be darker than like inside of the crinkle part. So just keep that in mind. Now a lot of times I get people asking if I let things dry before I paint. I usually don't unless it's necessary. And if it's necessary, I usually tell you in the video. So just, I am painting these while they're wet, but if you wait until they're dry, it's easier to handle them without messing them up and stuff like that. So it's entirely up to you. When I record these videos, I usually just don't prepare well enough ahead of time so I don't have extra dry ones um, ready to go. So that's why I usually paint them when they're, the clay is still wet, but you can wait for it to dry if you'd prefer to do that. Okay, so I got all my fries shaded, so I'm gonna make my ketchup now. So for the ketchup, I'm gonna use my 100% silicone. This is clear. So I'm filling this little cup right here. So I want to make sure I get enough to fill that up or fill it however much I want to fill it. So I don't have a red that's the perfect ketchup color. If you do, you can just go ahead and use that. 
Um, I'm gonna just mix some colors together to hopefully get the right color. So I'm just using True Red from Anita's. But if you had more of an orangey red, that would probably be a lot better. And I don't wanna put too much of this in to begin with. I wanna kind of keep it just to a few drops of red until I see how it's gonna color. And then I can always add more. And a lot of times I get people that ask when you're coloring resin or silicone, can you use paint? And you can use paint as I am now, but as you can see, this is turning out like a solid color instead of like a see-through color. So that's why I use alcohol ink when I want to make something see-through. And then you can use paint if you want it to be a solid color. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of Harvest Orange because this is not a ketchup color at all. And then we need a little bit of like a darkness. So I'm going to add some territorial beige. Just a drop to start and you can see how it starts coming together if it looks right or not. I'm actually going to try a drop of melted chocolate. Okay, so I think I got the color pretty good here. So now what I want to do, because if I take this and just put it into the container, it's going to get kind of like a weird, the texture on the top is not going to look like ketchup. That's, <laughs> that's the thing. So I'm going to put this into a piping bag. So then just press it down in your bag as far as you can get it. And then we're going to cut off the tip. So I'm going to cut a pretty decent sized tip, not too big, but we don't need it to come out really thin. So just smooth it down a little bit if you need to, like we want this kind of rounded look is what we want on the top but I don't necessarily want these little stringy things. That's what I was trying to avoid and why I put it in the piping bag. So there's the ketchup. If I haven't already released it, I'm also going to be doing a hot dog, which will go perfectly with these fries. So it's either on my channel or it'll be coming soon. So be sure to look for that one as well. Thank you guys. Have an awesome day and I will see you next time.